L. Evans and Lee Flynn were born on the same day in the same hospital. They became best friends and did everything together, especially dancing. Lee's older brother, Noah, was always around, protecting and caring for them. As they grew up, L started to feel differently about Noah. She developed a secret crush on him. But L was different from other girls. She loved playing soccer and didn't care much about fashion. L's life wasn't easy. Her mother died after a long battle with cancer. This made L value her friendship with Lee even more. To keep their friendship strong, L and Lee created rules. Two important ones were: 1. They wouldn't share secrets with anyone else. 2. They wouldn't date each other's relatives. These rules worked well until Elle's feelings for Noah grew stronger. She felt torn between her loyalty to Lee and her love for Noah. Elle wondered, should she risk her friendship for a chance with Noah? Or should she keep her feelings hidden? This question haunted Elle, making her question everything. As time passed, Elle's feelings didn't change. She couldn't stop thinking about Noah. But she couldn't bear the thought of losing Lee's friendship either. Junior year begins. Elle's junior year started with a wardrobe disaster, her pants ripped during school. Forced to wear a too small skirt, Elle felt self-conscious. Things worsened when football player Tuppen touched her inappropriately. Noah intervened, starting a fight with Tuppen. As a result, Elle, Noah, and Tuppen received detention. During detention, Tuppen apologized. Elle accepted and agreed to go on a date with him. However, Tuppen stood her up. Unbeknownst to Elle, Noah had warned the school's guys to stay away from her. Meanwhile, Lee set his sights on Mia, a popular college student and OMG girl. To help Lee kiss Mia, Elle and Lee planned a kissing booth for the school fundraiser. Organizing the event, Elle discovered Noah's secret, he'd threatened guys to keep them away. Elle felt confused and frustrated. Elle needed the student council's approval for the kissing booth. To get it, she promised that Noah would work at the booth. She knew his presence would convince the female council members to vote yes. But Elle was angry with Noah. He had been trying to control her life, and she didn't like it. One night, Elle went to a college party with Lee. She saw Noah kissing another girl, which made her feel terrible. The OMG girls, Mia, Olivia, and Gwyneth, teased her, saying she liked Noah. Elle got drunk and started taking off her clothes. But Noah stepped in and took her to his home. Why do you care about me so much? L asked. I see you as a little sister, Noah replied. L didn't believe him. She thought Noah was just trying to control her. The next day, L needed Noah's help again. She wanted him to work at the kissing booth to attract more people. But Noah refused. L was desperate, so she told the OMG girls that Noah liked one of them. Maybe this would make Noah show up at the booth. Finally, L begged Noah to come to the booth even if it was just for a little while. Noah agreed, but only for a short time. Elle was relieved, but she worried about what would happen next. Would Noah's presence at the kissing booth cause more problems or solve everything? The day of the fundraiser arrived, and Elle's anxiety grew. The school's fundraiser was underway, and Elle's kissing booth was a huge success. People lined up to kiss their crushes, and Elle managed the booth with Lee's help. When it was time for Noah to participate, Lee surprisingly stepped in instead. The OMG girls looked disappointed. Lee didn't seem to care, he had his eyes on someone else. Soon, a classmate named Rachel kissed Lee, and they left together. Elle was left to run the booth alone. Olivia approached her, looking worried. Elle agreed to take a shift in the booth to avoid a creepy guy. As Elle entered the booth, she was surprised to find Noah standing across from her. Without warning, Noah kissed her. Elle's heart skipped a beat. In that moment, she realized she had fallen for him. After the event, Noah offered Elle a ride on his motorcycle. They sped off, but soon rain poured down, forcing them to shelter in a gazebo. Elle kissed Noah again but quickly pulled away. She didn't want to be just another fling. Noah's face fell, hurt by her rejection. But then he opened up, revealing his genuine feelings for Elle. He had protected her because he loved her, unable to bear the thought of anyone hurting her. Elle's heart swirled with emotions. Could she trust Noah? Was he truly interested? Noah's words echoed in her mind, filling her with uncertainty. Elle looked into Noah's eyes, searching for answers. Her heart pounded with conflicting emotions. 
L and No's romance blossomed, but guilt consumed L. She had broken the friendship rules she shared with Lee. At a beach party, Warren tried to pull L into a hot tub against her will. Noah intervened, defending her. Warren taunted Noah, who lost control and attacked him. L escaped, shaken. Later, Noah caught up to L and offered her a ride home. On the way, he apologized for his violent reaction. They stopped at the Hollywood sign, where their passion took over. For the first time, they gave in to their desires. Afterward, they set rules for their secret relationship. Lee mustn't find out until L broke the news gently. As L and Noah grew closer, she spent less time with Lee. He grew angry, sensing something was amiss. Tensions built, and one day, Lee walked in on L and Noah kissing in Noah's bedroom. Furious, Lee confronted Noah. The situation nearly escalated into a fight, but L intervened. Stop, L pleaded, tears in her eyes. Lee's anger boiled over, you're choosing him over me. L's heart ached, she had never meant to hurt Lee. Noah stood firm, his eyes locked on Lee. We didn't mean to hurt you. The air was thick with tension. L knew she had to fix things. Lee felt betrayed and hurt by L's relationship with Noah. L was his closest friend, the one person who saw him as more than just No's little brother. No's relationship with L made Lee feel replaced. Meanwhile, Noah risked his graduation by skipping school for weeks to be with L. Lee ignored L completely, his anger and hurt simmering. One day, L spotted Lee at the arcade. He surprised her by inviting her to dance. For a moment, their differences faded, and they reconnect Ed. L poured effort into reconciliation, and eventually, Lee forgave her. At prom, Noah confessed his love for L and apologized for the fight with Lee. Later, Noah visited Lee's house, determined to make amends. My feelings for L are serious, Noah said, his voice sincere. I'm leaving for Harvard tomorrow, but I want you to know she's important to me. Lee listened, his expression softening. I just want L happy, Lee said finally. Noah nodded, relief washing over him. Me too, Noah replied. The brothers' understanding marked a new beginning. L and Lee's birthday costume party arrived, and L mustered the courage to confess her love for Noah to Lee. L revealed her feelings, and Lee's expression softened. He saw how much L meant it. Lee relented, prioritizing L's happiness above all else. Together, they searched for Noah at the party. Later, L drove Lee's car, thinking Lee was beside her, but the Lee beside her was actually Noah in disguise, dressed as Batman. L opened up, sharing her deepest feelings for Noah, unaware she was confessing directly to him. Noah listened silently, a smile spreading beneath his mask. When L realized her mistake, her face flushed. Noah revealed himself, and they shared a tender moment. In the weeks that followed, L and Noah cherished every moment together. As Noah prepared to leave for college, L felt uncertain about their future. Watching him depart, L's heart ached. Yet she knew a piece of her heart would forever belong to Noah. Their love story was far from over, as L held on to memories of their whirlwind romance. Noah's absence left a void, but L remained hopeful. Their love would endure despite distance and time. Thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel.